Keeping our drivers and road workers safe. The state kicked off an annual campaign reminding drivers to do their part to make it home safe and to make Oklahoma safe. News Channel 8's Ryan Stock and Dave. The state kicked off an annual campaign reminding drivers to do their part to make it home safe and to make Oklahoma safe. News Channel 8's Ryan Stock and joins us with the state's efforts and which work zones you can keep on your radar. Ryan, can you fill us in on this campaign? Sure thing, Grant. In March, Governor Kevin Stitt proclaimed April 15th through April 19th Oklahoma Work Zone Awareness Week in coordination with the National Work Zone Awareness Week. Our campaign theme is make it home safe, make Oklahoma safe. According to a proclamation made by Governor Stitt, Oklahoma Work Zone Awareness Week starts tomorrow. Only a month ago, there was an accident involving a pickup truck hauling a trailer with large bales of hay that was not secured properly. A hay bale was hanging off the side of the trailer as he entered a work zone and that caused a chain reaction. A chain reaction that led to three of their workers getting injured. They are okay they're recuperating we expect them to come back to the job but that could have easily have been a very tragic incident another accident happened recently on interstate 35 in k county one of our contractors uh, wildcat companies had a worker who was killed one contractor killed and two others injured after an errant car crashed into the the crews working on a, a bridge and a rehabilitation project. OTA and ODOT have a lot of projects in the works and there are some big ones that you should keep on your radar. On the I-44 Turner Turnpike, we just recently kicked off a very large work zone between Bristow and Hayburn in Creek County. She says that work zone is between mile markers 198 and mile marker 203. We've got the uh, Diverging Diamond Interchange or DDI in South Tulsa on Memorial. Um, I-244 um, on the west side of downtown. He says near the airport, they're replacing the Highway 11 bridge near I-244. Highway 97 in Sand Springs, uh, 412 uh, also in Sand Springs at 81st West Avenue. Sheriff Salim says the best way to lessen the number of work zone crashes is by knowing your routes beforehand, expecting the unexpected, and by being extra vigilant. She says the Drive Oklahoma app can show you real-time traffic conditions and where work zones are. We'll have a link on our website, ktul.com. Live in the newsroom, Ryan Stockett, News Channel 8.